Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO Speed Champion Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 race car. Set number... Where's the number? Oh, right there. I always see the set numbers, but for some reason I didn't see this one. Um, 75891. Alright, so um, obviously it's based on a real car, so there's the picture of the real car. And here is the... Uh, the model so it kind of shows you the the similarities here all right so enough of the box let's go ahead and jump right into it um it looks like this is a like a nascar style race car not quite sure what track that is that they're racing on but let's jump right into it all right so we have an instruction book we have two sticker sheets so normally you just get one in a small set but this one is two and there's a ton of stickers and then three bags of parts and then this one piece that's not in a bag all right make a slight adjustment to the camera let's get this guy going here's our big parts here's our medium small parts and then here's the bag of all the small parts which they're flying everywhere all right so with everything open begin with our minifig so this is our race car driver He has a single printed face at the helmet with the clear visor on it. <clears throat> and he's gonna have a single accessory. It's going to be a black wrench. So that's our minifig, move him to the side. I always like my minifigures to stand up when I move them to the side. So he fell down, I had to put it back on his feet. So here we go, we're gonna jump right into the build. We're not gonna waste any time looking at anything else. We'll kind of look at some of the parts as we build it. I don't think there's, well, I see one piece that's kind of unique to this set, but we'll look at it when we get there. So we're just starting with assortment of plates, just kind of stacking them together. Okay, so we have this already, and it will snap right there. Now we'll take our piece that was not in a bag. There's mostly blue for the body, a little bit of black mixed in. So as you see a lot of this blue color, you'll know that that's kind of the stuff that's gonna be sticking out or exposed once the model's completed. Okay, so we're gonna turn this upside down. We have these black pieces that have the studs on the side. this inverted slope where I put a tile on right here and do another one so we have two inverted slopes with tiles on them it shows these going right here right there 
that way you can see the tile is facing up. You turn it back over. All right, so we'll flip it over. Put this little wheel piece on. steering wheel so now we know which way is the front until we put that on it was kind of hard to tell which which side was front and back so we have our steering wheel let's see another plate go here one more plate here okay a couple black studs Two of these single brackets. These tiles are a little crooked. I'm trying to straighten them out. My OCD, if I see something a little bit crooked, I have to fix it. <clears throat> All right, so here we have your standard sized bracket. lock in those brackets so they don't fall off so now if I kind of pull them to the side they're they're on there pretty well they're not coming off at all okay so we have these big pre-molded wheel well pieces I'm gonna put all four of them on right now This guy put on two plates with a clip. Two blue plates on the side. Right. I skipped a step. Let's go back one more step. So when you put this on first, then we have this sloped piece back there. And that slope also locks in those brackets. Now this part will go right there. It's interesting, it actually those clips go right over the steering wheel. So not sure what's going on there. Okay, so we have two more plates. One, two. Check this out, even though we have stickers, we do have a printed piece, and it's the side of a one by three plate. I don't know how they got that printed on there, but it says Chevrolet, looks pretty good. The light blue printing on the dark blue kind of makes it a little bit harder to read from a distance, but when you see it up close, you can tell what it says. All right, so we have a regular brick and then a brick with a stud. And then we're gonna put a one by four plate on top. That goes there. So we turn the model around this piece here. Two 
studs. there <clears throat> so on this other side we're going to do another one of the printed plates but we're going to use a one by two brick instead of the, the brick that has that stud on the side that goes there just make sure it looks symmetrical Obviously the only difference is that has that piece. That's the the, uh, the fuel tank area where you fill up the fuel. That's why there's that one little stud sticking out there. Okay, so next is a couple of these little slopes. black studs on this one we have a gray stud that has a hole in it and then we're going to do our first sticker so we have this enormous sticker sheet and we're just now getting to our first sticker so let's get that first one on just goes right there there <clears throat> next is some cheese slopes for our first one there undecorated the next two will get stickers so this one will get sticker number eight carefully lining it up there and the next slope will get sticker number 18 it's right here tiny stickers on tiny parts this is what makes this a semi-difficult set Okay, so add a little bit of decoration on the side. So down here we're gonna put a tile. This is our side exhaust on these NASCAR style race cars. They have exhaust that goes out the side. It actually doesn't come out the back. Not sure why. I'm sure there's a good reason why. All right. Time for our next sticker. Sticker number six is right here. unstickered slope there and then this sticker or this slope will get a sticker sticker five there it is yeah the trick is with all these stickers is trying to locate the sticker on the sticker sheet it's like a where's waldo book trying to find the sticker okay another tile here Get sticker number two. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, this is by far the most stickers we've had to put on anything. So I get these two pieces on, now we get sticker one and three. If it wasn't for all the stickers, this set really wouldn't take very long to build. Okay, so we turn it over, put a bracket on here with two trans smoke one by one plates. Shows it turned this way. Put three of these cheese slopes on here. And the middle one is going to get sticker number four. Very, very tiny sticker. This is probably the thinnest sticker you'll ever have to put on. Just kind of put it right there in the middle. All right, so that's a lot of decoration and detail that went into this guy. This will slide in here, attach like that. So that's the rear bumper, the sticker tail lights, and then the rear spoiler all in one there. All right, we'll move that to the side. We have the other side panel to make. So similar to the other side, we're gonna put these stickers on here. Put that guy there. I'll let you decide how to put the stickers on. Sometimes I like to put the stickers on before I put the piece on. But if it's a small piece like this, to me it makes sense to go ahead and put the piece on there and then put the sticker on because it's easier to... Oops, thought I had it in my finger. Um, it's easier to, to hold a bigger model and put the sticker on. I mean, so long as you can access the piece. Sometimes if it's like way in here, obviously it's too hard to reach. But if it's out here on the outside, sometimes putting the piece on and then putting the sticker on is easier. But like I said, it's up to you to determine what is easier for you. And that's even if you decide to put the stickers on. Sometimes I don't put stickers on if I know I'm not gonna keep the set together. I like these Speed Champions cars. I usually keep all of them assembled. So it makes sense to me to go ahead and put the stickers on, and make them look completed. All right, sticker number 11. We have a rocker brick. Let's see, where's the bottom piece? It's a black, there it is. So we assemble these two pieces. Have this panel that goes on it, you can see it, it hinges. That piece will go there. 
see it'll hinge down and create the back windshield. We're about halfway done with our sticker sheet. But feels like we're further along with the model, so there may be a lot more stickers being put on towards the end. All right, so there's that sticker. Put that there. Okay, we're gonna move the model to the side. We have a little sub-assembly to make. It looks like we're going to make a roll cage type protection device inside the car. Okay, so that's why those clips are there in front of the steering wheel this bar piece and clip it on. Is that your roll cage? Next we're gonna stack two black studs and put them right there. couple stickers, sticker 10. I'm gonna try to put this other one on with the piece already on. I felt I should have done that with the other one. Yeah, a lot easier. A lot easier for me to do it that way. Okay, so we have these baby bow slopes with the 45 degree cutout. These will also get stickers. So once again, I put the piece on first. With such a small sticker, makes it so much easier to do that. This piece is going to get quite a few stickers. We're going to start with the top. Tile is going to get this large sticker. The top of the windshield area gets a little sticker. And then, okay, so we're going to use the first ones from this sticker sheet. Okay, so these stickers are printed on a clear sticker background. That way when you put them on, they you can see through them still. So that's probably why they gave you two sticker sheets. 15, 26, well, that's interesting. They gave us a double set of 27 and 26. So extra stickers. So those two we just put on are duplicated right here. And that's the only windscreen that's in the set. So those are extra stickers for sure. looks really clean. 
considering all the stickers that we've put on there. Um, I have gotten sets before that had a straight up extra sticker sheet and I'm pretty sure that was a uh, mistake. I think I've even received a set that had three sticker sheets. They were all three the same and only needed one set of them to complete the model. So um, that's uh, not common. If anything, it's a mistake but I've yet to receive a set that just straight up gives you extra stickers on the actual sheet. Maybe those are stickers that you could accidentally put on wrong and if you try to rip them off, it ruins the sticker. So maybe they just give you an extra one in case you mess it up, you can retry with a new sticker. All right, we are definitely getting close because the stickers are disappearing. We're using a bunch of them now. That piece there. So go under there. What's interesting is this is two separate stickers that runs across here. And if you can get it as close as you can to the other part without actually going over, it actually makes it look somewhat seamless. You can see it is separate. But it's really tricky to get it that close. I'm kind of shocked that I was able to get it that close. You see a very small seam right there in the middle. All right. So I have the splitter piece on the bottom and this will go there slope here and two of these quarter round tiles all right so this is the last sticker from this sheet you can see we did it we used them all. I didn't think we would be able to. And the car look, is looking pretty much done. So we did use them all up. Kind of evenly paced throughout the model. So the last thing we need to do is put our wheels and tires on. So just slide one of these tires on each one of these wheels. No big deal. We have the Technic axle with pin that goes inside of each of the wheels. And then the unique piece to this set is this wheel cover. As you can see on the underside, we have this anti-stud. So that's what's gonna connect to the stud in the middle. But then it's got this cool printed Chevrolet Camaro along the outside of the rim and really what that's supposed to represent is the tire so the black little spikes in the middle are representing the, the rim part of the, the wheel and then this printed part is supposed to be the tire even though it's this plastic piece that we're putting on so the actual tire is rubber um, but that little piece on the outside just makes it look like it's part of the tire. So that looks really, really cool. So there is one little accessory piece. It's this fuel tank. So what we're gonna do is just stack these red bricks together. This piece slides in here. And then there's a sticker. Yeah, there's one 
final sticker. So we have the duplicates on here, but there is this one sticker here that says fuel. And we have to try to put it on one of these round bricks. Once you kind of get it centered, you can just kind of wrap it around. And it doesn't touch the other side, but the way that those dashes are, are printed, it looks like it's just one of the gaps in the dash. And if you have a fuel guy, you can have him hold the tank up to there, drop the fuel in there, and then the car can take off and join the race again all right so there we go that's gonna do it for this one tell me what you, uh well i guess you can't tell me what you think there's, there's comments disabled thanks kids all right kids well thanks again for watching if you like this video check out the links i have down below if you want to see more cool lego build videos just like this um, don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and we'll see you in the next video